Guys, I get emails all the time asking, how do I lock up my jet ski or my trailer? And I really haven't had much of an opportunity to talk about trailer hitch locks. This one was sent in by Stephen Zealous. He bought it at Lowe's, and he didn't tell me what it cost, but on Amazon it lists for between $16 and $30, depending on who you buy it from. I wouldn't even spend the low end of that spectrum, and, and here's why. First of all, this thing is made from pretty much cast aluminum, so a good whack with a hammer is probably going to shear right there or possibly right there on the two thin parts. There are other weaknesses on this, but let's first talk about how these are supposed to work. All right, This obviously has a lock. Here's what your, pin, your uh, pinning looks like. And while it might look like a pin tumbler, this is really the lowest life form of locks on the planet Earth. This is a wafer lock, guys, and these are too easy to beat. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Anyway, when you turn the key, it disengages the locking pawl, and you can pull this out. And if you look down inside of there, you can see that little locking pawl. When you turn the key, it retracts it, and that little sharp edge catches into those teeth on the locking bar itself. So we could actually attack this from either the top or the bottom. Let's go ahead and remove this. Anyway, you take your, the ball, you slide it up into the trailer hitch, and then you fit this locking bar over the top of the, of the trailer tow bar, and you slide it down as tightly, as tight as you can get it. And then that theoretically is going to keep people from getting it off. Well, if you take a look at this, there's an awful big gap inside of there, or you could attack it from the bottom just as easily. I'm not going to attack it from the top because I'm going to assume it's a big tow bar pretty much filling all this up. So you might have trouble accessing from the top, but it doesn't matter. You take a shim and you simply work it down along the side of here. And, oops, let me turn that up just a little bit. And this would be a little easier if it was on, actually on a trailer. Uh, because I wouldn't have to balance it in my hand. Anyway, you slide it around, you just work it around, and then once it's in place, Generally, you can just slide that bar right out of there. That's how easy it is to beat this thing. But you know what? That's kind of the hard way. Let's lock it back up. Oops, a little bit too far, but it'll work. All right, it is locked up. Um, wafer locks. Too easy to beat, guys. I don't know why manufacturers even still use these things. These are commonly used on things like filing cabinets and desk drawers and really cheap stuff. They're not used on multi-thousand dollar trailers. So, anyway... Put a tension bar in the bottom and then get yourself any kind of rake. It doesn't matter what kind. This lock is so not particular. Just slide it in. I'm trying to do this through the camera lens. And I thought I had it there. That's how easy these things are to beat. But there you go. It didn't take but another second to give it a couple of shakes. Guys, the Reese tow power is not what you want to use to lock up valuable trailers or jet skis or bike trailers. For God's sake, think about what it is you're locking up and take the value into account and then make the decision then about how much to spend on the locking mechanism. If you buy the Reese Tow Power, you're going to spend between $15 and $30. You're going to save a lot of money on the lock, but you're going to lose a lot of money when somebody steals your trailer. Don't do it. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Steven, thank you, sir. Well, for the lock, I'm not going to waste money sending it back to you. Thanks, guys. Thank you.